Hello, I am Squid of Love, welcome back. We will continue taking a look at the weapons of Star Citizen and their new stats and capabilities in the 2.6 update. In this video we are going to focus on the size 3 weapons in order to not only see what is their status right now in the game but also which one is the best. We will start with the ballistic weapons this time and my favorite right now Tarantula GT870 Mark III a great weapon which is not only the best ballistic weapon but also the best weapon currently in the size 3 category. It has the best projectile velocity, the best range and the best damage out of all the weapons in this category. Its projectile velocity is at 1710 meters per second, its range is at 4891 meters, its damage is at 200 and its DPS at 60 seconds can go up to 186.67. It is also a very cheap and affordable solution, a very affordable option, since the cost to rent a Tarantula GT870 Mark III right now in rec is only 1100. Definitely the best ballistic option right now and for me personally the best option in the size 3 category. Next one is the 11 series broadsword which used to be the best ballistic option in the previous patch but now I cannot really find a use for it since whatever the broadsword can do the Tarantula Mark III can do it better. Its projectile velocity is at 1700 meters per second, its range is at 2771 meters, its damage hasn't changed from the previous patch, it's still at 100 and its DPS at 60 seconds can go up to only 83.33. It is also slightly more expensive than the Tarantula Mark III at 1200 rec. So if you are looking for a good ballistic weapon for a nice offensive loadout, I will suggest you to ignore the 11 series broadsword and go with the Tarantula Mark III. The Mantis GT220 is another great ballistic option in the size 3 category after the Tarantula Mark III but with a very different purpose. It has the best rate of fire in the category and its DPS at 60 seconds can go up to 250.13 which makes it an excellent option if you are looking for a loadout that has high rate of fire and can achieve an insanely high DPS. Its projectile velocity is at 1222 meters per second, its range is at 1589 meters and its damage is only at 32 but it doesn't really matter because of the very high rate of fire it has. It is kind of expensive since it will cost you 1600 rec to rent one Mantis but it's definitely worth it if you are looking for a weapon that will help you have some devastating firepower and some great DPS and rate of fire. But this is only if you can keep hitting your targets, because if you cannot, then this will mean a lot of wasted ammo. Let's go to the lasers now and the very good CF227 Panther repeater, which has the second best rate of fire and DPS at 60 seconds in the size category. So it is not only the best laser in this category for me personally, but I also consider it an excellent option in general. Its projectile velocity is at 1297 meters per second, its range is at 2503 meters, its damage is quite decent at 95 and since it has the second best rate of fire in this category it can achieve a DPS at 60 seconds at 242.25. It's kind of expensive, it's the most expensive weapon in the size 3 category at 1800 rec but it is definitely an excellent option and it is a more reliable option than the Mantis which has the best DPS at 60 seconds because it is easier to hit your target and you're not wasting any ammo since it is a laser weapon. Definitely a great option if you prefer a laser loadout. The M5A laser cannon now, despite the fact that it has some really good stats and some of these stats are better than the Panther Repeater, for me personally, doesn't feel as good as the Panther Repeater and this probably mainly because of the rate of fire. The Panther Repeater has a much better rate of fire, much higher rate of fire, which gives it the ability to achieve a much better DPS and is also making it easier to hit your targets with the Panther Repeater than with the M5 laser cannon. Its projectile velocity is at 1568 meters per second, its range is at 4124 meters, 
its damage is at 135 and its DPS at 60 seconds can go up to 182.25. It is also cheaper at 1300 reg, so if you are looking for an alternative to the Panther Repeater for a laser loadout, then the M5 laser cannon is an affordable solution and a decent weapon. I simply prefer the Panther Repeater, I think it is a much better weapon. And last but definitely not least is the Power Burst Plasma Scatter Gun, a shotgun like weapon that fires self detonated plasma projectiles and it can be deadly, devastating in close quarters. But that is also its problem. You have to be very close in order to hit your target and kill them, since its range is only at 680 meters. Its projectile velocity is at 1283 meters per second. Its damage is at 76 and its DPS at 60 seconds can go up to only 48.13. But it doesn't really matter because if you are close to your target, then you are probably going to destroy him very fast. It is also kind of expensive to rent since its cost in rec is at 1600. Definitely a great option if you enjoy playing close to your enemies and if you can stay close enough to apply your full damage. These were the size 3 weapons and I can see them all except the 11 series broadsword being used in different loadouts depending on what you are trying to achieve. My favorite ones from this category right now are the Tarantula Mark III, an excellent ballistic weapon, and the Panther Repeater, a very good laser option. You can also use the Mantis if you want to build a loadout with insanely high DPS, or the Power Burst Plasma Scatter Gun if you want to get close to your targets and destroy them like this. Thank you very much for joining me, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse, bye bye.